Hi everybody, it's Donna with Donna Steals and TIYs. I hope that you're having a very wonderful morning already. Happy Wednesday. This is my release 90 days to embrace God's plan for your life by Bridget Reed. And I will be reading the devotional today. I just have to change the page, sorry. And it is page 62. And it's called Breathe the Breaking the Mental Barriers. Breaking the Mental Barriers, sorry. Kind of bright right there. Don't be afraid, for I'm with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41.10. That is one of my favorite scriptures. It was a cool spring morning when I woke up to participate in my first triathlon. I had trained for three months before the event at the start of training. I didn't know how to swim very well, but thankfully, I've always been up for a challenge. Over the course of training, I got the hang of swimming, but I knew swimming was a half mile across a lake would take great courage. On the day before the triathlon, I got into the lake for a practice swim. I never swam across a lake, but again, I was up for the challenge. I got into the water and started swimming, and as soon as my body passed the line, showing the drop-off, meaning the water was now very deep, and at a level where I was unable to stand up, every muscle in my body began to cramp. I turned back and quickly got to shore. I thought to myself, wow, that hurt, but let's try it again. Like before, every muscle tensed up and I had to return to shore. That night, I prayed to God for help. Fear overwhelmed me and I was unsure if I could cross the lake. God gave me the idea to sing a worship song in rhythm to the strokes. I could envision myself swimming and singing across the lake. Peace came over me, and the next day I was ready to swim. I got in the water, focused my eyes on the sun reflecting on the water, and started singing at the rhythm of my swim strokes. I didn't focus on when or where the drop-off was. I just continued to swim until I got to the other side. Fear has a way of making us feel paralyzed, and then discouragement sets in, making it that much harder to walk by faith. Yet when we ask, God will give us specific directions on not only how to move forward, but ways to reduce our anxiety and fear. He carries about us in every detail of our lives. I broke through a mental barrier of fear that day. Now, I know that with God on my side, I can look fear in the eye and worship my Savior as I walk forward. Prayer. Let's move it where I can see it. Father, I release all fear and discouragement from my mind, heart, and soul, God. I ask that you give me specific directions on how to make the next step. I believe today's scripture verse is true, and I believe in you, in Jesus' name, amen. And I want to read that scripture again because it is one of my favorites. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up. With my victorious right hand, Isaiah 41.10. Every time that I read that scripture, I try to envision in my head God's right hand with me in his hand being held up. Because that helps me to remember how strong he is and how powerful and mighty he is. There is not anything that anybody can do to you on this earth that is going to stop God's plan in your life. And that is one thing that I have struggled with so much this past year. And he had to remind me over and over again, there's not one thing anybody can do on this earth that will stop his plan, his plan for your life. You might get in his way sometimes, or I might get in his way ourselves, but there's not anything that another person's going to do to get in our way. So just keep trusting him and having faith. I love you guys, and I appreciate you so much for listening today, and I will have another one tomorrow. 
and please email me at platware, P-L-A-T-T-W-E-A-R at yahoo.com or you can comment below any prayer requests that you have or you can email them to me. I would love to hear them because I will definitely keep them in my prayers. I have some cousins that need some prayer myself. So if you could lift up Donna's cousins and that'll that'll work. God knows who you're talking about. Uh, they need some healing and uh, in their lives. And I just uh, appreciate you guys. Remember that I love you, that God loves you, and God bless you. Bye-bye.